Germany obviously very important for us, and that's one of the reasons why we have picked Germany as our first kind of target country. But I think, I mean, logistics, we are in that market as a long-term investor, so we're not that much interested how much kind of the economy is going to grow the next two or three years. We, we really look at the long-term picture. And what's attracted us to certain markets is certainly um, the relative abundance or not availability of, of land to build new space. So we tend to target markets where you think there's a long-term you know, demand for space that can be around kind of um, manufacturing centers, that can be around you know, made, major motorway junctions which are going to be interesting for retailers or online retailers. And there can be kind of population growth centers across Europe where we see um, more population moving to and where more, more job growth is created over the long term. And that's kind of the, the sort of location we try to pick and they can be um, potentially anywhere in Europe. Just more recently, we have found more of them across Germany and across um, some logistics in the UK. Um, it's going to be a little more difficult in kind of in southern Europe, but we've got to look at it nevertheless because we think, especially in the e-commerce business, there's such a huge kind of potential to catch up that even you know in that weak economic environment, they're going to be very interesting investments for um, the next couple of years. Uh, maybe one more point on the kind of parcel delivery centers because sure. from from our point of view, they, just a year ago, we wouldn't have considered them as an investment, and precisely for the reasons that James has mentioned. But the market is evolving so quickly, and we actually invested, have invested in one in, in Berlin in the last year. And what made us change our mind is that we actually realized how big that market in some areas is. I mean, Berlin, there's about 20 kind of cross-docks, parcel delivery centers sort of buildings, and 20 is good enough for us as a market. Um, we're still not going to invest in these sort of buildings in a location where there's only one or two, but there's so many locations across Europe where you have at least 20 or even more of these kind of cross or parcel delivery centers, and that is perfectly good enough for us, even if we are an investor who is kind of very much a standard um, logistics investor.